Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be talking about why I won't raise my children bilingual. So this is something that I've thought a lot about, and it seems like a real sort of good, really good idea um, to do because it sets your children at a massive advantage. You know, they can experience life with so much richness because um, because they can speak another language, and like what an amazing thing to what an amazing gift to give to your child. Um, it seems quite easy to do, you know. You just speak the language to, um, to, to the child and they kind of learn it. Um, so, you know, why wouldn't you if you speak another language? Um, in one sense. And I think by the time I have kids, I will be fluent in... in don't know which language exactly, but but in like a certain amount, to to the point like where, where I think I I could. However, I don't think it's something that I want to do, and I'm going to talk about why. So the reason number one is that to see good results in raising a child bilingual, you have to have one parent only speak in that language in in the foreign language, which means that for me I will be speaking. A, I wouldn't be speaking to my child in a non in my mother tongue, and I think it's such a shame not to do that because I think you make such a connection with through like your mother tongue. Like no matter how good like someone is at speaking English, if it's not their first language, and they're in a room with someone who who, who doesn't speak English, uh, who, who 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 speaks their language, sorry. No matter if both of them speak English really well, they'll almost always, like nine times out of ten, they'll re revert to speaking English, speaking their language, just because it's it's. So there's something so nice about speaking your native tongue. And same with me, like if if um, I'm speaking a foreign language. To someone else who also speaks that foreign language but also speaks English, once the kind of the um, appeals worn off of speaking that foreign language, like a lot of the time it is more sort of more pleasurable just to speak in English because you can express yourself in a in a much more in a very different way and and um, have much more interesting conversations. That you know you can express yourself in, in in a much more sophisticated way, even if you can speak that language any really well. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is that don't you want that connection that can only be conveyed in your mother tongue with your own child as as they as you raise them? Seems to me to be quite like a shame not to have that. And I don't know like if there's any science behind that, but I mean I'd be interested to know from people who who, who have done this, but. Is there like, uh, what about the connection you have with your child? You know, is that affected? I'm sure a lot of people would say it, would say it probably isn't. Uh, so I'm, I don't really know. But in any case, I certainly think it's a shame not to speak your own mother tongue to your child, not to be the one to, to, to teach them it effectively. Um, the second reason is that, and this is kind of the more important reason for me, is that people wait, make way too much out of how hard it is to learn other languages when you get older. It, it, uh, I think the problem is that we just teach it in the wrong way. And with the right methods, like, gr granted it is much easier when you're a little kid in a, in a pram, sure. Um, like, I do get that, it is very easy. Like, because you're, you're not fucking doing anything, you just start speaking the language. Sure. But with the right methods, it's not difficult. It really isn't. Um, so... I think it's definitely, I agree with the thing that it's, it's like a really good thing you can to set, yourself, your kid, to set your kid up with, to let them speak a, a second language, like that's just a richness of life that I think is good to afford your child. But I think you can go about that without, without too much difficulty, um, if you teach them the right, the right methods to learn languages when they're older. Um, you know, I didn't properly like speak a language to any good degree until I was like, I'll say 20, um, maybe 19, like, um, and there are lots of people who learn languages very late in life. I, I saw an advert for some guy who 
was 28 when he learned his first language. So it really is possible that this idea that it's harder to learn language as you get older is complete bullshit. I really, I really do think that. It's, it, I'm sure it gets slightly harder the, the older you get, but with the right methods, it, re it really is very easy. Um, uh, and, and I think it's actually, there's almost an advantage of teaching children this when you get, uh, as they grow older, and they kind of, they're conscious of learning the language, because then they understand how to learn languages for, for um, as they get older. So, they actually are aware of how to do it themselves, and then if they want to go out and learn another language, another language. They can they know the techniques, they know oh I have to consume content that I enjoy, I have to um you know I do all the things that I talk about on this channel. Um and then they'll actually understand how to do it properly. So for me that's an absolute no brainer. Um much better to do it when they get older. So there are a few exceptions to this that I'll talk about. I think if I raise ch children with someone who whose mother tongue isn't English then I think that's a good opportunity because for my wife to speak her mother tongue to the child. And so that kind of, in that case, like the first reason doesn't really come into play. Um, and the second reason is, the second exception is if I live in a non-English speaking country, in which case the child will probably pick up um, both English and the country of the, the language of the country that we live in. So like, let's say we live in, I don't know, um, Dubai, you know, <laughs> you can dream. Uh, you know, they'll probably learn Arabic. Well, actually they might not in Dubai, but you know, you get what I mean. Um, so, but in both these cases, I'm still speaking to them in my mother tongue, is the thing that I'm really driving at. So, um, which I think is important. But otherwise, I just think it's something they can learn as they get older, and then they can actually learn how to learn to learn other languages in a really effective way and, and enjoy it. I think a lot of the motivation behind raising someone as bilingual is because it cuts away it sees learning a language as something that's negative. But if you employ the right techniques that are actually effective, there's no, like, why would you, you don't really need to, um, to raise a child bilingual because actually it's really easy to learn language and it's really enjoyable. So it doesn't really matter. So anyway, I hope this video made sense and um, I'll see you guys soon.